welcome children you must have started your class 12 i am sorry to be back after an inordinate delay but i was thinking of how to make these videos so that they will help you and we have broken down the concept in many parts so that you find it easy the video is short and sweet and to the point and understand the concepts and then apply to your question and answers and get the best out of these videos so let us start with this solutions chapter 1 in cbsc and iisc and we go into detail in small parts so first the introduction as you can see the solution is a special type of mixture because it has no formula it has no fixed properties the properties are those of its components and they have not interacted chemically setting up new bonds so it is a mixture which is a uniform blend of two or more substances the key here is uniformity homogeneity the components are so well mixed that solution appears as a single phase either solid or liquid or gas you can't distinguish different parts of the solution just by looking unlike say a salad where you can easily see the individual vegetables Here's a breakdown of the key players in a solution. Solute, the dissolved substance, breaking down into tiny particles. Imagine sugar crystals, the solute disappearing into water to form a sugary solution. From the crystal, the individual molecules separate out and they homogeneously get mixed up in the entire body of the solution. the solvent is the dissolving agent usually present in much larger amount than the solute water is a common solvent but solutions can exist with various solvents like alcohols or even metals the solid liquid and gases all three can act as solvent and all three can act as solute when they are present in different amounts So when a solute dissolves in a solvent the resulting mixture is a solution this process is particularly important in chemistry as many reactions happen only when the ingredients are dissolved in solution here are some interesting facts about solutions they can be in any state of matter as i said before in the previous slide solid liquid or gas think of air a gaseous solution of various components or alloys which are solid solutions of metals two metals liquefied and then mixed together and then cooled so a solid results like bronze or brass our world is full of solutions sea water is prime example we say 3/4 of the earth's surface is water sea water is a prime example and that is a solution a complex solution of salts and other minerals in water the types of solutions the solid liquid solutions where solid is the solute and liquid is the solvent so these are the most common types where the solid solute dissolves in a liquid solvent examples include salt water salt solute dissolved in water solvent sugar water sugar is solute dissolved in water which is solvent coffee coffee grounds release flavor that is solute and color into how hot water and color in and so so coffee the grounded coffee when dissolved in hot water releases flavor and color both solid solid solutions 
these are also called alloys these are also called alloys as you can see these are alloys they are solid solutions the normal 22 karat gold that we wear 24 karat gold is of course pure gold but 22 karat gold has some copper mixed in it are formed when a metal solute dissolves in a metal solvent to create a uniform mixture the examples are many brass is one common example an alloy of copper which is solvent present in more amount and zinc which is solute which is dissolved in copper steel an alloy of iron solvent with various added elements like carbon solute may have phosphorus may have manganese may have chromium may have manganese manganese solder an alloy often contained containing tin which is solvent and lead which is solute the solvent is always more than the solute this point must be noted and carefully used in the later videos as they come up liquid liquid solutions here one liquid dissolves in another sometimes these solutions may not be completely stable and form separate layers over time due to density differences example include alcohol in water many alcoholic beverages are solutions of ethanol which is solute in small quantity mixed in water solvent in larger quantity oil and vinegar salad dressing oil solute doesn't completely dissolve in vinegar solvent and forms a suspension gas liquid solutions these involve a gas dissolving in a liquid the amount of gas that can dissolve depends on factors like pressure and temperature examples include soda carbon dioxide gas solute is forced into water at high pressure which when released creates a fizz so fizzy drinks are nothing but a solution of carbon dioxide with some flavoring agent and a little bit of sugar and some acid and that creates a sour sweet taste and when the pressure is released the cork is released a fizz appears when the drink is chilled air in water oxygen and nitrogen solutes dissolve to a small extent in water solvent which is crucial for aquatic life gas solid solutions in these a gas is absorbed into a solid this can be important for material properties an example is hydrogen in palladium hydrogen gas solute can be absorbed by palladium metal solvent used in some hydrogen fuel cell technologies a very important concept here the gas solid solutions so we come to the end of this introductory part where i have explained what is a solution a solution is a mixture in which solute is present in less than 50 percent amount and solvent is always more than solute it is always more than 50 percent amount and hope you will you would have understood what is meant here because properties of solutions will be taken care of in the subsequent videos coming up